which I won't use the mic on up, but since this is the fairy mic, I'm going to use it. So. Audience looking good. Judges looking amazing. <laughs> so, um, yeah, without further ado, I'm going to do this poem I wrote. It's called James Clark. Um, so, yeah. James Clark, the embodiment of humour, chivalry, and passionate intelligence. Stephen Fry means Peter Kane. That was him. The way you sued in him like a cummerbund. Grandad emblazoned across your waist. A new face resting with old friends these days. When you passed, the best I could muster was a goodbye wave. Scene one. I'm a decade old. An older bro punts the ball high into the sky like David Platt. What a pro. I watch the ball carving out through the wild blue yonder. And out of nowhere, a geriatric heads a sphere from sky to earth in a single, bra in a single bound. My jaw hits the floor. Older bros follow suit. Bro recovers the penny flyer whilst I recoup. I'll never forget that day, because what I put into words, you manifested in a physical way. Point. Close don't make the man, therefore suspend your judgment. Part 2, 1990 AD. We sit, face to face. Two opposing armies fill the chequered void in between. You sit, arms propping your chin like pillars of the Acropolis. Veins crack the surface, but pale in comparison to the sultans indelibly hewn. At night, in my five-year-old dreams, these sultans arise from their slumber and make their full moon pilgrimage to a palatial exhibition and a fair that exudes grandeur and abundance. The fencing match that follows, it's not about bridges, but it's a celebration of diversity. I wait and hope that both opponents stab mercifully, waking in 2010 and you missing is the only thing that's hurting me. You rest in peace now, and these sweet memories I clutch, they become unbearable as I dwell too much. Motor neuron disease stole your powers of speech. So you're damn right these days, I stretch when I reach. Yeah, I stretch when I reach. Grasping at language, purely to commune and never to preach. To commune feelings of joy, polarised with feelings of pain. Stretching and growing with emotional gain. Sometimes though, I sit and I meditate. Chilling on a park bench by your celestial gate. But something's wrong with the picture. I can see you, but you can't see me. And the tears inside make it too hard to breathe. When the tears form streams, I snap out of these dreams. Try to bring you back, but mortality is a slate that you can't wipe clean. I'll end this monologue with a quote from Bubs. There's no shame in holding on to grief, as long as you make room for other things too. This poem is over, and I will always love.